Oh, I got it. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Please welcome everyone to Phoenix Comic Con. Is everyone having a great time? For anyone who wasn't sure what an author chair dance was going to be, like us, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the best description we could come up with is sometimes the internet spills over into real life, and if you wanted to see that happen on Twitter, we have some members of uh, Team Capybara here today to. <laughs> I'll just give you all a real quick introduction and you can go to town. I'll get out of the way. We have Sherry Priest here. Author of the uh, Clockwork Century series. Well, yes. We also have John Scalzi, author of The Old Man for the Old Man and the Honor's Table, yes. We have Sam Sykes. He's author of the. We have Leanna Heiber. Um, Heber. Heber. I'm Heber. 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 I'm, I'm high maintenance. I'm Leanna Renee Heber. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not that much of a diva. I just shy or retiring soul. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I'll take two. Okay, that's okay. We have Liana, Renee, Iber, Heber. Heber. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we have Liana, Renee, Heber. Heber. <laughs> nice. Author of the upcoming series, The Eternal Files. And we also have Delilah Dawson. Woo! <laughs> Author of the Glued series. Blood. Blood. And, and we have a special treat here today as well. We have award winning author Kevin Heron. Success. <laughs> so naturally, Kevin, since we are friends, since we are good friends, and, and you weren't here and, and I could get away with it, I instructed everyone oh to my God. just go nuts when they realized award winning author Kevin Hearn was going to be with them. Oh, God. So, Kevin Hearn, everybody. <laughs> Panel's over. <laughs> Leanna was like trying to flip it and she couldn't, so I thought, yeah. Maybe gonna no, the funnier it. thing is to like pretend you're going to do it and then not actually do it. You're gonna drop, you know, drop the mic or something like that? Yep. It's not gonna work really well here. You have to like throw it uh, in there. I mean, well, these, these, these aren't <laughs> even our property, so I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. You live on the edge. I, I am, yeah, but then we'd have to set it back up uh, for the next person. Alright, what the hell are we doing here? Weird. I mean, not just in an existential sense. I mean, that's that's for, that's for yeah, that's for tonight. After like about six drinks, you'd be like, Nay, I mean, I just I just don't know why we're here. I mean, I just please to see you. Do you, do you plan to get especially messed up? On no, you know, I, I don't actually I don't actually drink alcohol, and I will tell you why I don't drink alcohol, which is because there are happy drunks and there's sleepy drunks and there are horny drunks and there are flirty drunks, and I would be the guy who would be like, Sherry, I know I should not say this to you. <laughs> I know I should not say this to you, but screw it, somebody has to say this, and I'm going to be the thing, and that's me, and here it is, and I'm going to say it, and here it is now. And then 20 seconds later, I would be on the floor with a busted nose, spurring, <laughs> On a day-to-day -day basis, here's the line, and here's me going, woo! <laughs> and if I was drunk, I would just be like, not so far over it that the line would be like in a separate county. So, so, so you're you saying that if we get rid of Sherry, you'll drink. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you 
can have my drink too if you want some. Oh, excellent. Because <laughs> <laughs> Delilah down here already owes me too. <laughs> yeah, what did, what did you do? Did you lose a bet? No, we're going to talk about what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know now. Well, you can raise the question. All right, so apparently this panel will now be what did Delilah do? <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, let's, let's all present our theories. No, no, no. It sounds like an oxygen movie with, like, you know. <laughs> 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 it's very Bernie. It's very special. It has to be her. Uh, well, good. Delilah fucking life so, is going about. Ping, 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 ping. Until. The Capybara. Yeah, yeah. It's a lifetime. Hey, Pia. They, they can't afford cabbie bars. That would be like a guinea pig in really good makeup. Like <laughs> <laughs> the perspective shots of the guinea pig. Yes. So, um, just a model. So I, I have a question. I want to know, Delilah. Do you have you actually eaten both capybara and guinea pig? You've eaten? She says capybara so tastes like guinea pig. Guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> she means she's eaten capybara and a guinea pig to compare it against. Capybaras are large rodents. They if, are. For those of you who don't know what a capybara is, they it is a large rodent. And, and, a guinea pig, and a guinea pig is a small rodent. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of travel size. Bunch of tiny size. Light size and yeah. family size. <laughs> and baby. An interesting fact, according to the Catholic Church, a capybara is a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. It's a yeah. fish. According to, according okay. to the Catholic, the Vatican, the capybara is a fish. So, so you, you need to know for it. You need to know for Well, Vatican took that rid of all that. So now it's an everyday food. So now it's an everyday food. We can, just, we can have capybara all the time. All the time. <laughs> no, why would we be cannabis? Because we are them. We are capybara. Well, no, the same as with the guinea pigs, because the guinea pigs are actually a delicacy down in, what is it, like Chile or Peru? Peru. Peru. And that's why. And so, did you spend any time in South America? And this is CIA <laughs> um, in the witness protection program, you Which actually don't have? talk about these things. <laughs> you don't yeah, also talk about the end of the witness protection program. <laughs> you know how I always emphasize the S in my so name? Time to Delilah change. S. Dawson, you take away that S, really dangerous things happen. It's the same thing with my middle name. If you, don't, if you take out the Renee, mm, yeah. It's a good point. No, I have not actually eaten a uh, Happy bar or guinea pig, but I do make it a habit to eat as many weird animals as I can. So, like, I think a squirrel and possum. Squirrel's not weird. Squirrel's not that bad. Uh, oh, yeah, that's normal. I think it depends on the squirrel. <laughs> like, what, did this, did this squirrel die in strange circumstances? Or? No, actually, it was it a normal it? squirrel that the car ran over. Right, that's, that's not weird enough. Yeah. The squirrel was found with other erotic situations. Squirrel found drawn out on coke. Did you see the movie Seven? It was like that in Squirrel. Oh, was Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> was that, that head in a box? Most, that would be the most awesome <laughs> Avery <laughs> diorama ever. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work with this great data aggregator in Tennessee where I lived in, and now, and when they got our T1 connection went out, we couldn't figure out why. He's like, right because of the same around. And they sent a tech out to check it out, and Hans up there, and he calls down to us, and he's like, any of you guys like Squirrel? <laughs> and we were like, oh, did a squirrel get in there and blow something up? And he's like, no, someone has shot a squirrel and it took out your T1 mine. <laughs> Somebody apparently wanted it and he said, you guys want it? We're like, no. And so silence for a moment. He goes, can I have it? That's so good. Life in Tennessee. <laughs> so. Yeah, that, that doesn't happen in New York. <laughs> Yeah, in New York, the squirrels are like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously, I'm not even kidding. They get up on their hind legs and they're like, no, I'm I not even kidding. I was just in New York and I was walking down the street. And the squirrel was like, what? No, no, I saw, I saw this little sheep moving like, oh, a kitty. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's, no. that's a rat. That's a rat. That's a rat that ate the kitten. Yeah. He is, he is no, they, that actually happens. Like people are like, oh, I have rats. I will get a cat. And I put the cat in the room with a rat, and the rats are like, you poor animal, yes. <laughs> you poor bastard. And the cat's like, look, I'm on your side. <laughs> Whatever we need, you know, I, I can go to God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they think I'm cute. I would get food into tents. Please don't consume. You know who probably has a lot to say about cats is Kevin. <laughs> I just gotta sit here and you guys clap. <laughs>
Um, I have two cats. Both are extremely hairy. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say about cats. <laughs> you know what? That... In 2014, you have to do both my hairy cats. <laughs> With the cake. All right, Kevin, that was such a good story that you deserve an award. <laughs> So this is a best act story in the Hearn. Multiple award-winning authors. This is just the best day ever. Made. You know, I've actually eaten cat before. What? You have not. Yeah, I had a friend um, whose parents were off the boat from Korea, and his mom was oh. a cat. And I was like, this is awesome. What is it? She was like, no, 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 he's, he's okay. Nobody like cat. <laughs> Yes. 
so much work. It's so much uh, making us out of, out of these things. So it's, it's, it's a private theory of mine. I don't insist upon it. It's no longer private, is it? <laughs> Yeah, they have, they have to eat each other to survive. I actually interviewed two of the survivors for that. And, and, and of course, every, the, the question everybody wants to know, and this is, uh, no, what does it taste like? And their answer was, you know, it was really cold. You know, it was really, yeah, it was, it, 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 the whole thing was just like, you know, it, it was so cold that they had absolutely almost no taste whatsoever. Uh, they kind of went, we're sitting there going, well, Chad's a little, hey, Chad's a little, smoke. yeah. Yeah, yeah no, you, you really need to, like, have it well to get a good idea of what but, human is supposed to taste like. Maybe get someone that's had a lot of massages. You get, well, I would have to be like dry age, tender goods. You know, yeah, you want yeah. someone that lived a good full life. And very sedentary to go for Yeah, yeah. So Are you like, married, like, Renee? Because you're a woman that kind of slow. Yep. Yep. No. 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 But, so like, someone who has done a lot of traveling and, you know, had a lot of love in their life, that would be the good person to meet. What? I'm saying, I'm saying like, you oh, want someone very, people? very, like, aged nicely. Aged nicely? Like, you wouldn't want to eat a toddler. Like, the most interesting man was, in the world. I'm still on eating people. I was about to say, yeah, you like, know that aging beef is not the same as, like, you eat an old cow. Yeah, but I want to, like, <laughs> <laughs> Saying there's, there's, you know, for a man who's obsessed with meat, you seem to know very little I'm not about obsessed with meat. Yeah. You have, what is, you, this I'm only curious we're, about what people taste we're like. We're 20 minutes <laughs> into this thing and you're still on eating people. Yes, I mean, yeah. we're yeah. too large and you're left on eating elephants. The, and, the dialogue and will show, Mara, the dialogue will show that I'm curious. I have a natural, <laughs> a natural about me. to know, you can turn this to know <laughs> the world around me and what it tastes like. <laughs> I want to know what people taste. Those little Sam teeth. Never stop there. I would. I would. I would not. No. Like. No. Like. No. I imagine you would like be looking back at me. No. Because I can only. I can only imagine like a most dangerous game. No. That can happen. My wife would kill you. Your wife. Your wife is quite. Yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah. No. There, there would be. She, you would see her coming from a mile away. I mean, she'd just be walking rush straight up to you. You would have enough time to consider the, the flaw in your plan before she arrived and ripped out her heart. So, so like this, this is yours. It's my jam. No, no, she would be like, this tastes like pig. No. <laughs> she would Why not? She needed to get her nose cats. <laughs> They're work for cats, by the way. <laughs> Just every, I, I just looked at the colors, and, 
and I can't bring myself to open it because on that path lies madness, right? <laughs> I, I actually heard about this book, but I heard it was bad. <laughs> She gets an award for the pun. <laughs> yeah, there's no award for that. There's, no, there's, there's, only, there's only punishment. Shame. Oh, God. That's a good word. That's a shame card. <laughs> You're going to run out of time. I won't do it again because I only have one left. <laughs> Oh, but I have kids. No, you keep that. That's why? Why is why is it my name? Because I was I was <laughs> testing a theory. Surely, surely. Okay, so what was your theory? It's probably not actually a theory. It's more of a hypothesis. More of it's actually less of a hypothesis than you just pulling something out of your ass. <laughs> Which is the basis of all good science. <laughs> And so, so, uh, yeah. so says my friend Lang Jobu. Jobu? No, you have to add the end. No, Jobu. Jobu. So it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not disgusting. It's just Yeah, it sounds pretty gross. It sounds like, it sounds like something you know, when you yeah. Yeah. Be, yeah, it's like when you're drunk. Hello, Shirley. I should tell you.
Sam, now we know. Sam likes to change the signs of the authors he's Speaking of which. That's how they, that's how they met. Oh no, that's the, well, yeah, yeah actually it was. So, okay. so uh, our friend Sam Sykes, is, well, it was the first year your book was published or something like that. Yeah, he, was sitting next, he was sitting next to me and I was like eating a you know, sandwich and having my Doritos and he was just battling on about whatever it is that he battles on. Like his battles battle. on. Like, and, yeah. and, I and, and I had Dorito fingers and I just, <laughs> <laughs> as one does, because, you know, that's the, you know, I had to establish, you know, the checking <laughs> order. That's, you know, that's Pet Gamma Rabbit. Right. Uh, <laughs> and, and then so, he, you know, immediately grab, I think you immediately grab my thing and start scribbling on it about. Uh, as soon as you walked away, he doesn't do it. Walked away, yes. While you're there. Because he's delightful and passive aggressive. Yeah. Pass <laughs> when I come back, the, the, Flip side of my name tag says uh, John's. You know, it's John's skulls on one side, on the other side, a huge dork. And then there's a little picture that says the head of skulls who demands blood. And people are like, no, 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 no. And a little heat ray coming out of my right, and then you know, please give sandwiches. No, no, no. There's lots of crumbs flying. Around. Right, exactly, because you know, as He's a wonderful a, artist. Yeah, he really, he really captures, you know, the je ne sais quoi. I don't know what that means. But, uh, but anyway. Uh, this so amused me, this uh, spirited show of spunk from <laughs> Sam Sykes. That's, that's, that's you your spunky. Spunky Sam. Spunky, spunky Sam Sykes, um, that I actually have, have kept the placard. It resides next to my Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Every time, every time. No, 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 if you're going to say okay. that. No, I don't want you to say that. I want you to say two times to go over. <laughs> Responded, FBI. 
And then when he finally discovered it was me, he was just like, because he like didn't tell his wife, he didn't tell anybody, he hid it in the garage. Because <laughs> he didn't know, he like, and as he said at the, the Comic Con a couple years ago, that he thought I was, you know, this person was gonna show up with like script in one hand, duct tape in another, <laughs> you know, and just one yeah, finger puppets and everything else like that. And I and I learned that day. Um, that uh, well, it was really fun to prank. So, <laughs> how long did it take him to find out it was fake? It was. Really it was fun. like a month. I mean, for some reason, it was like a long time because I then I finally like asked our mutual friend who I got you know uh, has he talked about it at all? And he says no. And then finally he sent me a note about Zoe's tale, which I had written, um, and I checked with you. UPS and everything, and to find out if it had arrived. And then he, I said, oh, I'm glad you like that. By the way, did a rather large package arrive on your house, at your house, on August 6th, between the hours of 5.30 and 6.30? <laughs> just asking. <laughs> and just like I said, then he came back, oh my god, please tell me that was you. Because <laughs> he's my friend Will. I, I, I genuinely forgot. <coughs> that he's actually famous. <laughs> and then people are actually like, Hi, where are you? <laughs> Hi. That's why I open his mail once. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously. You open somebody's mail just once, and then you get the No, email. I opened Will's mail. This, this guy I knew in Seattle um, wanted to send Will a present. And he knew that he was a friend of mine. He's like, if I give it to you with postage, will you send it to him? And I, I knew the guy like not that terribly well, but but he's he's a very good craftsman. He does a lot of really nice steampunk stuff. And I was like, oh sure, that's fine. So he passes me this package, and and it's about this big and this big, and I'm it, I'm, I'm thinking there could be a human head in here. I really <laughs> <laughs> what kind of horrible person am I if I just mail this to him without even looking at it? And so I opened it up, and no, it was it was a really gorgeously crafted set of steampunk goggles and whatnot, and a little on a human head. head. <laughs> And I was just trying to be protective, and then, oh, now you can tell that I've opened it, and oh my god. <laughs> so like some of this huge long tech. I'm so sorry, and I hope you take this in the spirit in which it was intended. I wasn't trying to like creep on your mail or anything. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't mailing you a human head. <laughs> that's trying to be protective of you. <laughs> anyway, that's why there's a tear in the nose. That's a good friend for you. Yeah. You make we'll spare I was, was going to take that one for the team. I would, I would appreciate that. <laughs> if someone went. You don't, you don't wait ahead. I don't, what do I get? You get a pancreas. What? <laughs> That's better than in appendix, at least. I just you know, just get Sam a kitten. Sam could use a kitten. Sam could use a kitten. I do not like cats. Oh, I, I think they're stupid, <laughs> and I don't have a high opinion of them. They don't like you. Which begs the question of what you're doing on the internet. I'm going to <laughs> 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 not fitting in anyway. <laughs> I have. Yeah, 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 to, to be fair, he, he chose wisely on the whole cute dog thing. Yeah. 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 And I have a bunny. No. Bunny? I have a bunny. We had a bunny, and then it escaped, and then we just told, we just told our daughter that it was out having more bunnies. Did you well, eat it? No, we did not eat it. Your bunny just really needed to leave and have a lot of bunny sex. That's it. <laughs> that's yeah. No, I have, a, I have a bunny. She was rescued from a laboratory, so she would, there is still animal testing in this country, so um, if you're curious if that's something that offends you, then please go to the Compassionate Consumer Guide online and look at the, uh, the, all the things that are not animal tested. So. But does the bunny have superpowers because it was in the lab? It's just really great eyelashes. That would be that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's very well up to it. Um, no, she's now finally no longer scared of people, finally. So she, she looks just like Vanicula. <laughs> do, you, do, you so, leave, do you leave her uh, like carrots and wait and go come back? And I'm, really disappointed. I'm, di I'm very disappointed. So nobody has played a prank on you where like they leave asparagus and go away. The coolest and thing ever. Asparagus. Just no one really has time for that. You know, I just. Oh, I would make time. Okay. <laughs> that would right, be... that's, it's on. But that's the whole point of a prank, isn't it? That you make the time to make it really excellent. That's true. Pull it off. But I'd be really excited about it. Like usually pranks like worry people. Um, yeah. Not always. Yeah. Okay. Just, all right. Well, now I'll know if I have <coughs> asparagus and, and carrots drained of color. Oh, no, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I have a, I, I have an entire vegetarian household. So there we go. So she's uh, her name is Persephone, queen of the under everything. Persephone. So, <laughs> Persephone. <laughs> <Yeah>. ah! <laughs> Good. Are you a writer? 
Yep. <laughs> Last time I checked. But she's fantastic, so bunnies are really cool. So if you're interested in a pet that is awesome and doesn't need to be walked every day, um, because but you I can, can walk a bunny. You can walk a bunny, but I live in New York and I don't have any time. Yeah, well, they they, all brown on the they fundamentally eat their own poo, and I just have no, a problem. No, they with don't. It. It's not poo. It's, it's not. No, it's, it's not. It's only true. No, 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 no. It's not. They are two separate kinds. The, yes, yes, yes and, and, but they're both poo. Two it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no, they're both poo. Then where does it come out? It goes through the. It comes out through the entire digestive tract. It's it's poo. Bunnies, Bunnies secrete poo. a thing that is full of nutrients that they do eat, but it is not the same thing as their poo. <laughs> <laughs> Just because something comes out of a rabbit's bottom does not make it poo. <laughs> 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 and that's the takeaway you should have. <laughs> She doesn't smell. She smells like a cotton ball. She does not smell like, you know, I mean, dog breath stinks and cat breath stinks and bunny breath just smells like. Well, like we weren't talking about the bunny, we were talking about the poo poo. <laughs> the poo smells like cotton. Smell. 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 That would be awesome. I had a rabbit and the bee smells, smells too. I got well, there, yeah. there is that. Yeah. So still... bunnies do smell. No, the, well, they have no the tray. tray. They smell. Smell. <laughs> but, but her as a, but her as a creature is just like a cotton moth, and it's fantastic. So I highly encourage more intelligent, intelligent bunny ownership. Um, there are a lot of them in shelters, and they get euthanized a lot because people get them for Easter presents and things like, oh, this is a thing, and then they give them to their kids, and then they realize that they eat the you know floorboards and yeah. things like that. So you know you just have to be aware of them. But when, they're fantastic. When we had our uh, we, it was uh, named, what was it? Uh, no, it was. Uh, John Jr. No, Kabula <laughs> Lord Snuggle, our Lady Snuggleston. Because, you know, we, we had it we had that on, on the internet, we love the internet name it, so that's what you get. <laughs> but it was really funny because the, the dog loved, loved the bunny. You know, like, oh, I love it, baby, I can hug with my teeth. And, uh, <laughs> And, and they actually got along fine, but the cats were like, what the hell is this? Okay. What is this? Because they know they can't kill it because it's inside, which really messed with them because our cats, there were, we have agricultural fields to the south, to the east, and to the west of us, and so we get small rodents. Smaller, usually, than guinea pigs or capybaras, but still, you know, <laughs> they can make a nuisance when they get in, so the cats are working cats. Um, and every once in a while, well, outside of cat, because our largest one is like with mink coon size. We'll just bring down like uh, rabbits and stuff like that. One, one more can step outside into the garage, and there are two dead rabbits in the, uh, in the garage. They're not just dead, they are actually arrayed symmetrically, and their little paws are up as if they're praying. And I'm like, please, my cat made a gangland hit. <laughs> And the cat's looking at me going, Godfather, I did this to you. <laughs> One day I will request a favor. Fucking <laughs> okay, cats. That's okay, wait, wait, that's the best cat story. <laughs> Very nice 
else was there? It was you. Yeah, it was you. Because her. Oh, we have this picture. We have this great picture because I don't know if you know this about Sam, but he's he's economy sized, right? He's a big dude. <laughs> not not. I'm not saying you know. You're just big. <laughs> and and it's, so we're saying he has this picture of us, and it is like Aragorn and the Hobbit. <laughs> Tell me if you can read the answer. I'm taking bids. Fifty dollars. <laughs> What's it say? <laughs> it's an elvish. No. Language of Mordor. We will not put it here. Nice. It says the next one is a tattoo. <laughs> because that is actually ring number three. <laughs> The boat at That's the really time nice. I lost the other two playing in the yard with, with my with my daughter. So there was good excuses. And, but the first one I lost and she went out with a you know metal detector, which is no good because we have a five acre lawn. And then so she got me a second one for Christmas. Twelve hours later, because I was playing in the snow, off it went. I'm like, Ugh, and she laughed because she thought that was funny. This and then is why you have rabbit game problems. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but, then, but then, you know, for a couple years, I went without ring because I was like, I totally don't want to lose the third ring because three strikes you're out, right? Um, and the problem is, is that I would go and I would talk about my wife, and people would like look at me and then look at my hand and they go. <laughs> you know, and then I was like, no, no, and I would tell them the winsome story, and then so finally I, you know, my wife took me over to our 10th anniversary dinner, and uh, I actually bought a ring because I thought it was time for my 10th, on my 10th anniversary I should have a ring. Um, and we went out to dinner, and she, you know, at, just before the dessert course, she went down on her knee, she took my hand, took the ring that I had on my hand, and went, <laughs> pulled out this ring, and put it on, and this is the one that says, next time it's a tattoo. And <laughs> next time it will be a tattoo. Because, you know, so. I, I now walk around like this all the time. <laughs> and if you see me like doing this, it's the, you know, the check, because I do this like every five minutes, because then if I've lost it, I know it's in within a five minute walking radius. <laughs> right? So, because I don't, I don't want a tattoo. <laughs> I'm not a tattoo person. There are other people on this panel who are tattoo people, but I'm not one of them. Do I get an award for this? Yes! yes. 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 Most tattoos! Most. I like five! Oh. Does it talk to you or something? Oh. Tattoos. It doesn't quite work. Next. Try to reverse it? Uh, get a mirror. I right? need to get a pin. Fix this. Most Nick, might I say that out loud again? Most tattoos while sitting next to Kevin Hearn. Yes! <laughs> Someone and this year, you know what? I thought, let's be professional. Let's 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 be the That's an excellent idea. I do believe that if you don't come with, with a pen, then you know, quite frankly, you're just doing it wrong. So don't take no. <laughs> take your blue one. Take your blue one. That's a silver one. That's a silver one. There we go. I got it. Blue. Yeah, I'll do it. 
It's all right. We've been friends for a while. It's okay. So the Cheeto expanded what? 2007, 2008. Oh, man, is it? No, no, no. It was. My book was out at that point, so it was 2010. 2010. 2013. Where is the time? Yeah, it's 2010. Okay, 2010. All right, but this one is special too, so don't don't lose it. I'll get it back. Look what's on the right here. This one is actually a habit. I got it. The Surrey writers just left them on my own time. So. What, how long does this thing go? Because we've actually managed to burn 45 minutes to really get Don't call it. attention to it. Now we won't have anything to talk well, about. Well, no, because I was going to say if we want to actually ask it, let them ask questions. What? About what? Okay. Yes. 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 Hey! we got another 15 minutes. Best pens. And actually, you have a... Don't. No. <laughs> I'm a Victorian lady, I can't. I, can't. I just can't. So, yeah, let's, let's, like let's open it up to the audience. Is there, are there any questions for award winning author Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I just want to tell you what this award was. It was lame, okay? <laughs> this, it, it was actually from last year, okay? 2012, and it was like uh, best local fantasy author, and there's like me and Sam. <laughs> so, so I, I didn't even do anything for it. In competition. And so, yeah, it was, it was, it was rough. And so, so it was from last year, and then, and now I got a plaque this year, and I'm like, I've forgotten about this entirely. So, uh, so I, I, it was really cool of him to bring it by, but, but I, I didn't know what, what I was going to do with the actual plaque. But, so I have a question. Yeah. Evan. What's it like being too good of a person? <laughs> Is that hard? It's is it hard to be that awesome? Do you know you know what you can do with the plaque? They made excellent cheese boards. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That would probably be great. Yeah. yeah. Are, you a, are you a fan of cheese? Who isn't a fan of cheese? Seriously, Sam. Cheese. There, there are some people. Some who people are, are lactose intolerant. That doesn't mean they're not fans. Kevin, most <laughs> insect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they could they could yearn for the cheese and not be able to have it. You know, that's what I'm saying. I, uh, interesting fact I learned today that uh, tyromancy is the art of divination through the coagulation of cheese. I seriously <laughs> learned that this morning. It's a real word, yeah. Uh, so I, I don't... To the internet. Yes, to the internet. <laughs> Let's go. Confirm this. But it, and you immediately start thinking about a series with, you know, the tyromancer's cheddar and then every, you know, every, every book is another... You know, Tiro Masters, Bree, and whatever. Well, you are writing an internet fantasy, aren't you? Well, that, that could be one heck of a series. I mean, you could get, you know, a whole bunch of people writing it, you know, ghost writing and all that good stuff. And, I mean, because aren't there like hundreds of kinds of cheeses? I mean, there are a lot of cheeses. Are you going to do some research? Are you going to do what? One cheese? Like, one book per cheese? It's an anthology. Yeah, well, no, no. We could have a cheese anthology. Just the title, The Stinking Bishop. Would be enough. That sounds like a it's, it's a cheese. It sounds like cats solving a cheese mystery. <laughs> which means with it's instantly with some sheep. With with some some sheep. sheep. Well, well, maybe, a, maybe a sheep kind of cheese. Like so cheese. what? Well, now it sounds like a cat. Now it sounds like a stinks. That would be awesome. Where the cats are like rolling down the floor. Yeah. You're supposed to be Every mammal, you know, makes milk, right? You know, makes milk, right? Like Can we have some whale cheese, please? Capybara cheese, yeah. That takes a lot of milk. You guys, when, when you wonder, like, where do authors' ideas come from? It takes, like it takes a lot of the romance out, doesn't it? Because you're like, just sitting up here thinking, you're like, what could do a thing about it? No, it totally does. It totally does. How about if it's like magic cheese that, like, once you link to find it, now it has powers or something? Brandon Sanderson is already writing this. It's a 10 volume. 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 Okay, well, I was a kid. I thought the weatherman ordered the weather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay, fine. One of us on the panel was thinking what to do with cheese. <laughs> now I'm thinking about what to do with the weather. <laughs> uh, there is a weatherman named John Scalzi. Oh, no, I knew that because you mentioned it. In Sarasota. And every time I see him, I'm just like, 
There could be only one. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, you pull out your sword then? You're well, you, but this is the problem is that he can control the weather and lightning is striking on the toast, right? Well, so, all right, it'll all come down to he won more awards. And for being a, a oh, I believe he is indeed a award winning meteorologist, John Stahl. Oh, man, the Roadhouse Cage Match. I know. Uh, and, and to make it more complicated, my father's name is John Scalzi, and he got medals in Vietnam. So, so many awards. So maybe just name your it's, child John Scalzi. That would be destined for great. It's just, it's just that easy. The John Scalzi Award. There is a John Scalzi Award. There is. I swear to God, there is. It's in masonry science. <laughs> it's not a joke. <laughs> to the internet, you will find out. John B. B, middle name B. Scalzi was like the, he was like the Isaac Newton of masonry science. If you wanted to know about cement or cable state bridges, this was the dude. And so there is actually a Scalzi award that's given to masonry science scientists every year. It's the highest award in masonry science. And you're like, well, that's great. But hey, you know what? If you're a masonry sci scientist, that's what you want. That's you all. You that. yeah, that's a whole other national treasure. It makes you right want to actually become a masonry scientist. <laughs> so that you can earn the John Scalzi. So I can earn the John Scalzi award. And I'd be like, this there's, is so exciting. There's a Victorian, there's a Victorian chemist that was named Walter Heber out of um, Germany. So there's actually something called the Heber chain reaction, which I kind of think is pretty fantastic. Oh yeah, they, you know yeah. there is. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's not covered on this channel. And there's oh, yeah. another writer. There's another writer named Lila Dawson. She writes Black Erotica. Right. Awesome. And also the Dawsons. We have a creek. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, where are we going to let the mess Yep. Uh, I'll be uh, nice. Make it good. Um, Kevin, you recently commissioned a wood carving of a pug dressed Boston as bronze. Uh, was it a Boston, Boston, Boston Terrier? Terrier? Could you please describe this wood carving for the audience? Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> the, the All right, well, I just, I go by this, I'm, I'm just walking out of the, the, the vault, whatever that is down there, that thing, that large area we've been in. And uh, near the door, there's a fellow who is doing, like, incredibly squee-worthy uh, dog pictures. You're forgetting the part where I grabbed your arm. You're like, Kevin, Kevin, it's like, Hugs Watson. Yes. And she, so she, I actually had missed it, and Delilah pointed him out to me. And so then I look at it, and then I, I kind of spaz out a little bit. Um, <laughs> it, because it was excessively cute. And it, it was a Boston Terrier, but I don't even know what to call that style. It was sort it's of this. It's almost like Rockabilly Day of the Dead, Ron Swanson, Boston Terrier, wood burning on a plank of wood with bark around No, it's exactly that, not all of them. I would not even got, yeah. It was so fabulous. And so then I'm like, I want to buy it. How, I have it. He's like, it's already been sold. And I'm like, no. no. I melt down. And he uh, had it, this huge did you guys I'm a award winning author. <laughs> No, it was definitely the end. No! Everybody, one, two, three. No! And then he said, everybody next door is like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, so, so uh, yeah, I, I finally, I'm going to commission one from him. You guys do get to see, he's got a bunch of uh, postcards, and he's got, like, pugs and bunny costumes, and, uh, he, made, he made me one, mine's a uh, tabby, it looks like Peppy Le Pew. Because yeah. I one time told him I dressed my cat as Peppy Le Pew for Halloween. As you do. And, and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he I, does Buffy. He does fire, uh, Firefly. He does. Yeah, he has a poster with the whole crew of the Firefly. I've got to go back to the studio. Okay. Yes, and he's he's an artist out of Chandler. So anyway, if you guys get a chance to see him down there, go Tell for him. Kevin sent you. <laughs> yeah, he'll be like, oh, <laughs> no, he'll be like, who's that? Just just say that one guy who melted down when he didn't have <laughs> the, the Boston Terrier thing. Yeah, it was pretty good. That, that's a great story. That is a good story. There hasn't been enough chair dancing. What? Time for Is it your dance? Time. And that is enough. I <laughs> two years of dance, baby. <laughs> I took two years of dance. When I was in high school, the dance teacher came up and said, I need a, I need a boy for the dancing class. It's going to be you. And you didn't argue with 
Joan Murbach because A, she had uh, a will of steel, and second, she was hot. And I was, <laughs> and I was 16, and my friends mocked me for being, you know, the, the boy in the dance class. And I said, let's, let, let's think this through, right? I spent my physical education period moving rhythmically with women in tight clothing. You spend your physical education period being shoved into a mat by another boy's hips, which is the heterosexual choice. And so later on, when you know I was uh, out and about, and uh, I was doing a story on a local DJ, and uh, you know, and I was there, and said, as long as I'm doing it, I'm at a little dance. So I asked women to dance, would you like to dance? And they would say, Why, well, yes, I would. And so we would go dance. And unbeknownst to me, my my future wife came in and saw me dancing. She came in with her loser date. And uh, <laughs> they wouldn't apparently dance. So uh, she came up to me. I was there with my Coke. It was real Coke back then because I could metabolize sugar and not really <laughs> go sideways. Um, and literally the most beautiful woman I've ever seen just comes up and says, you and I need to dance sometime tonight. This is my wife. Uh, I'm going to tell her. Well, they were real. Um, but she said, you and I have to dance sometime tonight. And I said, now is good. And we danced to the Curious Friday I'm in Love. And then, you know, we got married. Not like that day. But... It's so good. And, we... and meanwhile, all my friends in high school are still pathetic and alone. So, you tell me. a lesson to you. Cheer dance. Whoever crosses the I actually met my wife dancing too. What? I met my wife dancing also. Great. Yeah. It's just something we'd have in common. <laughs> you know what else we have in common? Well, awards. Well, award winning. Yeah. 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 Four prism awards. Does that count? What? Four prism awards. Does that prism count? Prism awards. Yes. Award winning. Prism. Prism. Not prism. 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 Prism.
You, do you know who I am? I'm John Scalzi's Dorito Dust Receptacle. <laughs> <laughs> Articulate matter all over <laughs> All right, we have time for no, we don't. no more questions. We have no more questions. Thank but you. But if you have anything that you really wanted to say, we are all downstairs in the author go. In the row. Yeah. Yeah, we're on Twitter. Yeah, we're on Twitter, which is what this, this whole thing started about. Because we say ridiculous things on Twitter about large ribbons, and that's how that all started. Thank you and good night.